Don't make me have to pre-cut you. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you need from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new pre-cut feature in Power Director 17. If you plan on using a pre-cut feature in your videos, I want you to put hashtag pre-cut clip madness in the comment section below. It's pre-cut time. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the pre-cut tool to slice and dice your videos in a navigation window and create permanently split clips. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Let's cut some stuff up. The pre-cut tool lets you cut a video into one or several segments without placing it into the timeline. Once your segments are created, you can select any segment of a larger video clip and add it to your timeline as many times as you want. There is no need to trim the video every time. As a matter of fact, you can bring back in those pre-cut clips to an existing project whenever you want. So I'm gonna right click on this clip in the navigation window and I'm gonna select pre-cut. So the first option we see here is single trim. So I'm gonna click on single trim. Now you can create one segment of the video. You can use your mark in button. You can move this to where you want to, or you can move your playhead where you want and click on the left bracket and it'll move it there. Or you can change the end position on here. Or you can even go and move the playhead frame by frame. And then place your mark in point where you want. You got all those great options. And you can do the same thing for the mark out point. Move it to where you want. Or you can use your right bracket. Change the out position or move frame by frame. So you got all of those beautiful options available to you. Now, the duration of the clip will be up on the right hand side here. So now you can tell how long the clip is. It was originally 41 seconds and 23 frames, but now it is 21 seconds and seven frames. Now, you can preview the original clip using the play button, or you can just preview the output by selecting output. And if you press play near the end, it won't go past that position. It'll stop because it's just previewing the output that you selected. So you can go ahead and make sure that you got the segment of the clip that you want. Now, once you're done, you go ahead and click on OK. Now, you can see that it opened up a subfolder with the pre-cut clip. Now, if you want to change the name of this, you can right click on it. And then you can select Change Alias. And once you do, you can go ahead and type in a new name. And you're good to go there. You can go ahead and left click on this clip and drag it down to the timeline. And you got your pre-cut clip on your timeline and that's all you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from the timeline. And I'm gonna actually delete this by right clicking on it. And I'm gonna select remove from library. And when I do that, it removes the subfolder that it created it brings me back to the media content in the navigation window. Now we went through the single trim option, so let's go through the other option, which is multi-trim. So I'm gonna right click on the same clip 
and I'm going to go ahead and select pre-cut and this time I'll click on multi trim now you can see we have a timeline with some thumbnails in it now the thumbnails represent the section of the clip that is inside of the magnifier so this is the magnifier here and you can move it from left to right by just clicking on it with your left mouse and dragging it left or right. You can make it larger or smaller by placing your cursor over the side, holding down your left mouse and changing the size of it. And you can also move it from left to right by using the arrows down here. And all this really is is a representation of the thumbnail that you see. Now you can zoom in and zoom out on your timeline using the increased magnification icons here. So you can see I could change it to five seconds. I could change it to one second. And here below in the timeline, you can see that each one of these sections or segments is a second. Or I could go to five frames. If I really want to get down to the nitty gritty, I could change it to one frame. And then we'll just see each frame. You see the size of the magnification glass now. So if you want to select your own scenes, you can go ahead and do that by just selecting your mark in and mark out points the same way that we showed before. So I have two segments here that I just created. Let me do one more here just for fun. So I got three segments. Now you can invert these selections and say, let's say that I want everything that's gray to be selected instead of the blue. I could just click on the invert trim results and it'll invert them and change them. I want to change it back to what I selected. Now, if I click on the okay button, it'll go ahead and send these three pre-cut clips to the subfolder for that clip. And so now we can see all three of them here. I can drag different ones into the timeline, wherever I want, all that good stuff. But there's still one more option that I want to show you. So let me go ahead and take these off of the timeline. And I'm actually going to remove all of these. All right. So if I go back here, I right click on it and go to pre-cut. and I make sure that multi trim is selected. There's a button here called scene detection. So this is the last option. So if I click on this, it will detect the scenes for me. I'm going to click on it and it's going to ask if I want to split the scenes after they're detected. I'm going to say yes. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on okay. And so you can see that it created multiple split clips on here and you can tell it has one two three four five six segments that it created from that now if i don't like how the clips were split then i can make adjustments by just sliding the mark in and mark out points and i can change all of this myself and once you get everything set up how you want you can just go ahead and click on ok And now you see that I have all of these clips here. Once again, I can right click on it, select change alias and can change all of their names to whatever name I want. Can drag these to the timeline in different positions, however I want to, all that good stuff. Now, if I go ahead and click on the up one level button, It'll take me back to the media content screen and the navigation window. And I can tell that this is a clip that has pre-cuts because I have this little folder down here. So if I click on that, it'll take me back to my pre-cuts. Right. And I can go ahead and click on this to go right back to the media content and add other things to the timeline if I want to. At the beginning of this video and in the title, it talks about permanently splitting clips. So if I leave this pre-cut that I created as is, and I close this project out, 
and I bring this media back into the media room, the pre-cuts will stay with it. So watch this. I'm going to go ahead and do file, new project. And I'm going to say no. I'm not going to save anything. I'm going to click no. So it opens up the new project. And you can see that that clip that I selected with the pre-cuts, the one that says food is good, it's not there anymore. But if I import it and I go to import media, go to import media files, and I go here to this clip that's called food is good and I open it, I'm going to click no for shadow files. It brings it back in and you can see right here, it has the pre-cuts still. So if I click on it, I click on the pre-cut button here or the icon, you can see all my pre-cuts are still here just as I had them. So anytime I want to use these pre-cuts, if I want to use this clip again and I want to have the same pre-cuts and I don't want to have to cut this clip over and over and over again every time I use it, I now have it permanently set up with the segments that I want from this clip that I can use any time I want, anytime I bring that media back into Power Director 17. Loving it. I'm loving it. If you decide that you like Power Director 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Now, those are affiliate links. So if you use them, I'll get a small commission, which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use Power Director. You'll pay the same price, the exact same price as if you went to the Power Director site and bought it on your own without using my links. But when you use my links, you help me help you. So if you want to help me help you, use the affiliate link. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one I just pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video was good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do, click on the bell. When you click the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. That way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.